Hi, and thanks for joining us. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of each new video. If you missed our last video, we finally arrived in beautiful Antigua, Guatemala after an intense river crossing. Hauntingly devastating ruins, modern conveniences, and international cuisine that is hard to resist. We loved every minute of it and we could have stayed longer for sure. But it was time to hit the road again. And in this video, we take you through the El Salvador border crossing at Las Chinamas, El Salvador. It was a straightforward and relaxed border crossing and we made it to our campground before dark, even if it was a little worse for wear. Hi, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to discover the most beautiful locations. And our goal is to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. Thanks for watching and welcome to our channel. Good morning guys, Wednesday today. We are in Antigua and we're about to leave. We're going to El Salvador. We stayed here in Antigua, I believe three days. And I think it was good enough to see everything. We didn't do any volcano hike for many reasons. Uh, the main one I think takes like two days and it feels exhausting. Also, Fee is too old to do that. She can do that. We're gonna have to do an easier volcano if we want to see one. So we decided to skip that. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty much it for Antigua. I'm about to go pay the lovely host. I'm also gonna give him a nice tip because he was so awesome. And for us, we're heading towards El Salvador. Border crossing. It's not that bad, it's not that complicated. Maybe sometimes it could be a little bit stressful and long. Always be prepared. One thing you never have enough is photocopies. Photocopy every document you own. Car registration, insurance, passport, driver license, you name it. Every little paper that you think you'll need for border crossing any country, make sure you make photocopies and if you need additional photocopies because you got new documents or you forgot to photocopy a document do not worry every border town has a photocopy business nearby another great tip is start looking for information into that border crossing two to three days before doing it regulations change so fast and you want to make sure you're up to date before crossing the border for Central America, you're going to have a CA4 visa. The CA4 is an agreement between Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and Nicaragua to decrease their internal borders and pull together into one region for immigration. So if you enter Guatemala, you'll get a visa that is good for the other three countries, and vice versa. The standard tourist visa length for all four countries together is 90 days. If your vehicle leaves Guatemala, then it will not be allowed back in again for another 90 days. However, there are some ways around this. We did not cancel our tip, but we made a suspension. It made it much easier on our return. We used the border in Valle Nuevo, Guatemala to Chinamas, El Salvador. Now, things might be a little bit different depending where you're entering, but this is how it went for us. Before you get to the border, you will find some guys for the exchange. I do recommend you change a little bit. At the end of the CA8, you will see a bridge. On one side, you have Guatemala border. On the other side, you have El Salvador. This is the border we chose. We're 
stop 20 minutes away from the border. It is 2.20, so it's a little bit late. Normally we like to do early boarding crossings. I like to cross them early, you know, we never know how long it's gonna take. But we have found a spot, I think it's, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes after the border. Now we could camp. And if the border crossing really goes fast, then we have another spot that's about an hour away. So this is the immigration. I don't know how much I'll be able to film. I'll do my best. But yeah, first step is Guatemala. And yeah, anyway, let's get this done. Right now we are in Guatemala side getting some photocopies done. Across from the photocopy, you'll find your main building, immigration and aduana on the opposite side. So now we're done with Guatemala. We're getting into uh, El Salvador. Exiting Guatemala was very easy. You stamp out and you pause your tip. Once you're done, you take the bridge directly to El Salvador and right across at the end of the bridge, you will find the tent. That's the medical station where they'll take your temperature. Once you're done, you walk to the blue building all the way down, you will find immigration. This is where you're gonna get stamped in. Once done, you walk all the way back up for the aduana, and you're done. So we are in El Salvador. <laughs> Take two. Yeah, the cops are right there as soon as we cross, and you know we don't want to show too much excitement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we didn't have to do anything for free. I no. think we mentioned once that we had a dog, and no, no they sense. didn't even they didn't even look in the van at all. So it was uh, two hours, you said? One and a half, two hours? One hour at Guatemala border, closing everything down and suspending the tip, and then 50 minutes at the El Salvador border. And actually, um, at immigration, it was really, really fast. Yeah. Uh, they just looked at our paperwork, entered some things in the computer, didn't even give us a stamp uh, as part of the CA4 country, so it's not common for them at this border crossing, I guess, to do that, because we already got the stamp in Guatemala. Uh, this is actually the first time that Mena needed to be there. Mexico and Guatemala, I was able to do it for her, but this one, nope. She needed to be there, but it was quite fast. Yeah. And uh, yeah, here we are. So now we have uh, about half an hour, 40 minutes to get to her campground. And I'm anxious to get there because, you know, it's going to be service time. It's been a while since we felt the way we did back when we were dumb and younger. It's been a while since I looked into your eyes and saw starlight, bold, bright colors. Yeah, when I'm down. We made it. I didn't feel much of what happened but yeah we went down this crazy stupid road just because it was shorter by 10 kilometers thanks google really appreciate so yeah google will always give you the shortest distance it doesn't mean it's the best route but how do you know it was just hell on earth let me tell you and we had to do two u-turns because it was just impossible to go through and what happened was I ended up damaging my bumper. It's not visible, but enough to annoy me. See, there's a snap that goes here. There's a hole right underneath. And it kind of just holds everything together nice and neat, which is not the case anymore. Anyway, that being said, we are in an awesome place. We're alone. It's safe because they closed the gates. And I ended up finding this spot because of Snow and Kurt. I've been following them for a little bit of guidance and chatting with them on Instagram. And here we are, it's getting dark. I'm tired. Lunch, 
was just a handful of nuts. It was an exhausting day. You know, border crossing is always a little bit nervous, but here we are. Welcome to El Salvador. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, if it was helpful, if you had fun, it was entertaining, give us a big thumbs up. It helps us a lot. If you want to give us extra love, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Bye-bye.